Hello again everyone, it is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus Drydocks.com and I want to share with you uh, kind of a neat little thing. It's a modular ballast system that we were uh, commissioned to put together for someone. I want to show you how I did this. So this could actually be uh, a standalone ballast system. It could live independently of the motor compartment and the battery compartment. It could stay in the boat, for example. But uh, this is basically all it is, is a, is a piece of, uh, in this case, three and a half inch diameter polycarbonate tooling, tubing uh, with some clear acrylic end caps that have been adhered on um, with some silicone. So these could be opened up again if you wanted to have access to the interior. It free floods on the bottom and we've got a waterproof servo from high tech in the bottom there. Uh, if we come in a little bit closer, I'll show you what this looks like and the linkage basically just runs up and the vent is just a piece of brass tube with another brass tube nestled in it and when that central tube pulls down, it opens up a little hole and vents out the air. So let's show you what this looks like in practical application. So um, basically the, uh, the ballast tank is completely empty right now. And uh, we open up the, the valve by turning the servo. It vents out all of the air inside there. And it's actually got a nice vent rate. You don't want it too fast. There we go. So just a little tiny bit of air left uh, in the top of the tank. And uh, that is the whole vent cycle. Now I need to show you how we're going to blow the tank. So the other part to this is uh, a gas ballast system. And in this particular case, it's actually carbon dioxide. So it's CO2. It uses the little uh, canisters that you use for paintball guns uh, or for aerating uh, kegs and that kind of thing if you're a, a home brewer. Uh, the components of the system, basically you've got the canister which screws into this gas regulator and you can adjust the pressure down uh, everything from zero all the way up to uh, about 60 PSI. Goes through this uh, electronic solenoid valve and then blows into the tank. So in this particular case, I have not yet uh, installed any fittings on there, but you could literally just tuck this up in the bottom of one of those holes and it would blow the gas into the ballast tank, displacing the water and the uh, model would rise. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So we've got the, uh, the air hose in there. Now we're just going to uh, put current through the solenoid valve and in practical application, I would use the 2IS electronic switch to do that, which allows you to control the servo for the vent and also the solenoid valve for the blow. So let's see what that looks like here. When we put this hose under the water, And there you go. Blows the tank uh, out nicely. And uh, it's a nice compact system. It actually doesn't take up very much room at all. So modular ballast system, uh, if you're looking for something, especially for something with larger ballast tanks, this is what you are going to be after. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe it'll help you in your build or future projects. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out anytime. Bob at rc-sub.com. Love to hear from you. Thanks for joining me and we'll catch you next time.